All right, good evening, church. Welcome, Tim. How are you today? Hey, it's doing good. Thank you, Pastor Zay. Fantastic. What a, here. what a beautiful day. Isn't it nice? <laughs> it was so nice. We went for a walk this morning. It was so nice. Hard to believe tomorrow is the first day of fall. Can you believe that? Why would you bring up such a fact? Because it is so nice, and then we got to think about the things coming up, you know? I'm not ready for it. You know, it's still shorts weather. It's still motorcycle weather, so that's okay. It is beautiful out. Uh, hopefully, you're enjoying your week. Thank you for spending time with us. We're yes. going to be in Luke chapter four, so get your Bibles and turn to Luke chapter four. This is one of my kind of one of my favorite passages, and so um, I'll go ahead and start here. So I'm reading now the New American Standard, and it says Jesus full of the Holy Spirit returned from the Jordan and was led around by the Spirit in the wilderness for forty days being tempted by the devil <laughs> and he ate nothing during those days and when they had ended he became hungry and the devil said to him if you are the son of god tell the stone to become bread and jesus answered him it is written man shall not live on bread alone and he led him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said to him i will give you all this domain and its glory for it has been handed over to me and i give it to whomever i wish Therefore, if you worship me, it shall be yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And he led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you. And on their hands he will bear you up so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It is said, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil had finished every temptation, he left him until an opportune time. All right. Uh, wow. Why don't you keep reading? We'll, we'll, let's just read through this whole thing, and then we'll come back and discuss some of these. Okay. And um, Verse 14. And Jesus returned in power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, and being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath appointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Hmm. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto him, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and all bear him witness, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also hear in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elijah sent, save unto Sarepta, the city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel at the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was mm -hmm. cleansed, saving Nanam the Syrian. And all they in the synagogues, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, and rose up, and thrust him out of the city, and led him into the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he was passing through the midst of them, went his way. And he came down to Capernaum, verse 31, a city of Galilee, and he was teaching them at the Sabbath, and they were amazed at his teaching. For his message was with authority. In the synagogue there was a man possessed by the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Let us alone. What business do we have with each other, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. 
And when the demon had thrown him down in the midst of the people, he came out of him without doing any harm. And amazement came upon all of them. And they began talking with one another, saying, What is this message? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the report about him was spreading unto every uh, locality uh, in the surrounding district. Then he got up, left the synagogue, and entered Simon's home. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him to help her. And standing over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she immediately got up and waited on them. While the sun was setting, all those who had uh, had any who were sick and with various diseases brought them to him, and laying his hands on each of them, he was healing them. Demons were also coming out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But rebuking them, he would not allow them to speak, because they knew him to be the Christ. When day came, Jesus left and went to a secluded place, and the crowds were searching for him, and came to him and tried to keep him from going away from them. But he said, I must preach the kingdom of God to the other cities also, for I was sent for this purpose. So he kept on preaching in the synagogue of Judea. Wow. Now this is a fascinating chapter. There's, there, there's multiple mm. stories in here we can learn, but it starts off the very mm. beginning here. That this Jesus, as he prepares for his ministry, he goes into these 40 days, really, of being tempted by mm. the enemy. Now I, I love the thought that he's, he's full of the Spirit before he goes, but he goes into this wilderness experience and he's being tempted. And, and when we read about these temptations, the enemy was... Satan was really trying to get Jesus to deny his humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not to deny that he was God, but it was to deny his humanity, that he was human. And we see this uh, later on, as soon as the demons are coming out, you're the son of God. He says, you know, be quiet. He rebuked them. It's not my time. And it, his whole point is Jesus, he wanted people to know that he was fully human Amen. as well. Mm -hmm. Because as God, it's not a big deal to, to love your neighbor. As mm -hmm. God, it's not a, a difficult to overcome sins, right, and temptations. But right. as man, like you and me, temptation is on a daily basis. On a daily basis, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's some of your thoughts on that? <laughs> well, that's just an interesting concept to think of that. You know, Because Satan, he was fasting for 40 days completely in prayer, seeking God, seeking the will of God, and Satan came upon him. Can you just imagine that, the very presence, Satan coming and tempting him? Three main areas, <clears throat> the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes. Like you yeah. said, tempting him to reveal that he was human, just like we are. And so Jesus, he is pure God, but he is also a pure man. It shows to us that we also, with the power of the Holy Spirit, can resist the temptation, just like Jesus. I liked how it says, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. See, God gives us the, the wisdom, the knowledge, to be able to live our life daily, to live by the word of God. You know, we say the heavenly prayer, <clears throat> give us this day our daily bread. Yeah. A lot of us think of that as the physical aspect. I like to think of it as a well-rounded, physical yeah. and spiritual right our heavenly father is our bread um part part of this is our daily bread right getting into yes. the word on a daily basis it is you know and after these temptations now jesus you, you could have a whole message on that where okay. the enemy's trying to get him mm -hmm. to deny his uh being god yes. or being his being human, human. not not yeah. denying being god okay. his not being human but then he goes on and he he goes and he reads in verse 18 and 19 mm -hmm. i love what jesus reads oh yeah he just says the spirit of the lord is upon me of all the scriptures he could have picked, here, here's Jesus getting up in front of the church, reading, he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Mm -hmm. Good. <clears throat> I like, <clears throat> like that also, because he was right there in his synagogue, along the teachers, the people that knew the word. And the first thing he did was, I have come to preach the gospel what Jesus' ministry was. And he did, not only said that to heal the people, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, but in later on in the chapter, he healed the people. So not only he only preached it, but he actually acted upon it and stuff. And what happened? They were trying to get him out of the city. Yeah. Well, and this was from, he says he returned to Nazareth where he grew up. Right, right. So he comes back home and everybody, it's like, hey, this guy used to go to our school. This guy grew up in the family. Isn't that Joseph's son, they said? Exactly. Which is interesting because I'm not sure, you know, if if, if, if my son was from God, like, right, right, right. right. Now, 
it just seems like people would have known some of that, but maybe it was kept secret or hidden. Yeah. And maybe it wasn't talked about, or here we are years later, 30, right? Years later, where mm-hmm. he comes back, where people just, they didn't recognize him as the, the kid that was miraculously born from Mary, but as, isn't that Joseph's son? The yeah. carpenter, Joseph of Nazarene, right? He just, they didn't acknowledge him as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, yet. Yeah. And they just recognize him as a human, the son of Joseph. And which made it also harder to <laughs> accept when Jesus said, listen, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. All right, there, there's so much more in here, and I hope you guys have some great conversations. But I think the main point I want to get across to you today is that, listen, Jesus was fully human. Fully human. And the enemy tried to distract away from that. Uh, people tried to dist- you know, take away from that. They even tried to kill him, and it says, then you know, he just slipped through the crowd, whatever that looked like. <clears throat> yeah, millions of people. But but the reality is, is Jesus mm-hmm. deals with the same things that we deal with, dealt with. We deal with on daily basis. On daily basis, mm-hmm. uh, there's every temptation that you're tempted with. Jesus felt the same thing, but he was able to overcome them. So I want to encourage you with this: that mm-hmm. listen, God was able to overcome. He will help you overcome temptation as well. So if you're struggling mm-hmm. with temptation today, so I want you to know that God can help you overcome that. Yes. Anyways, let me pray with you. Thank you for spending some time. I, I could talk about this chapter for uh, for so hours, much. probably. Yes. So, um, Lord, we just thank you yes, for Lord. each and every one here. Mm-hmm. Lord, we thank you that we can come together and Lord, study your word. We say, give us this day our daily bread, Lord, and uh, Lord, physically, Lord, I pray you provide, Lord, for those the, the needs that each and every one has here. But Lord, spiritually as well, Lord, as we read and we yes. study your word, Lord, that you just renew our mind, Lord, transform our thinking, Lord. And I pray a special covering, Lord, over the temptations, Lord, that come our way, that, Lord, you give us the strength to overcome, yes. to resi- to submit to you, to resist the devil, Lord, so he will flee. God, I pray yes. you're with each and every one. Bless them. Keep them safe. Lord, give us an opportunity to share your love with someone else. We ask this all in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless. Thank you God for spending bless. time. We hope to see you all on Sunday. Have a good night. God bless. Jesus loves you. <laughs>